the area in which we live is uh, quite famous for its orchards, for apples, pears, produces uh, probably the lion's share of the apples and pears uh, for the country, and, and probably some of the, uh, arguably some of the best in the world. One thing that's uh, been a tradition here in this area is, in the fall is apple presses, or apple pressing. My family used to get together uh, before, I, I don't remember it, but before I was born, uh, my grandparents had an apple press, and in the fall they would uh, gather, pick apples, and everybody would get together and press fresh apple cider. It's kind of uh, similar to the tradition you have up in the um, northeastern states with the uh, boiling of the maple syrup. This is our version of that. I have been looking for um, a proper apple press for, for some time now and have been very fortunate to come across this one. Actually, those of you guys that have subscribed to my older channel or, or, the, or in the early days remember my old neighbor from the old shop, uh, Hank. And I was visiting him just the other day and dropping off a few things that I'd borrowed from him, and I saw he had this old apple press sitting out in his uh, yard. And I asked him about it, asked him if he'd be interested in selling it, and um, he was very graceful and just gave it to me. Unfortunately, it sat outside for several years, and most of the wood, if not all of the wood, is going to need to be replaced. But the wood is good enough where I can uh, use uh, the existing timbers and the corners uh, as a pattern. So I want to show you real quickly how this works, and I'll be uh, doing a series of videos as I restore this. This will be my project that I'll be uh, getting started on right after the greenhouse, uh, something I'm really excited about, and it's going to be really cool. And I'll be excited to start that tradition up again, having friends and families come out in the fall uh, at the harvest season and bring their kids, and, and I think it will be something that will be uh, uh, a lot of fun for a lot of people. So. I'm looking forward to it. So I'll kind of show you around it, how it works. It's, uh, let's get started. So how the apple press works is there's, there's basically two stations on it. This right here is the hopper. It's where you pour the full apples. And inside that is a cutting wheel that uh, pulverizes those and they fall down into the bottom. This, these two buckets right here, there's a waterproof tray that sits in the carriage and this will sit at a slight angle so those apples will first fall into this oak uh, barrel. And that's the pull. Once that's complete, then you slide it forward, and then you have right here this big screw press, and I've got a two by four sitting in there. I'll have a, a large uh, a lever so people can walk, one person on each side, and take turns and turn, and what that does, will well, that presses that pull. Right here is the portion, here's the ball and the socket that fits on that screw and that will press down inside of these and then the juice will run out the bottom. So this is a really nice press. This is something you would, would find at an orchard. And this is, uh, I wouldn't say full on commercial, but it's de definitely not homeowner. But just look at the, at the build of it. Uh, this big heavy flywheel, that is connected to a shaft, which turns, look at this beautiful crank. So this will turn the gear which in turn will turn that drive shaft. Once that flywheel gets going, then you can see inside the hopper here, these teeth will pulverize the apple. It's a little bit, you can, you can kind of see if I turn the crank, how that works. The wood on this is actually, is not too bad. So I got a little bit, a little punky right there, but I'll, I'll probably have to replace all the wood. And then we'll bead blast all the gears, repaint everything. I'll remake all of these redo the hardware. This is going to be really a cool project. It's even got the, you can see right there, the original name Wallace Concorrent Company, Portland, Oregon, where this was built. Heavy cast iron arch. Right here you can see all the construction is all mortise and tenon. Nicely done. This has to be pretty significant because this press right here, the screw, will come down. You can see here, fits in the socket, and that's what press will be pressing the juice. Yeah, very, very nice. This is going to be, I'm excited to get started on this. So this will be a multi-part multi -part video, and I think where I'm going to start is I'm going to start on these barrels here. These are, are oak with uh, 
steel rings in them. So I'm going to take, take all that apart. I've got some oak flooring that I found in one of the barns that will be perfect for this. And I'll start with these. I can't decide on whether to paint this, this the metal work on this, the steel, red or black. Like the, red, like the bands and the wheels. What I'm kind of thinking is maybe red hoops on the barrels and black hardware up here. So give me your input. Tell me what you think. But we're going to start with, I'm going to start with this pretty soon. These are all riveted. So we'll have to cut these out and replace these all with oak. And I'll bolt them back together. And I'll have to rebuild that tray. Oh, one other thing is that these trays, the barrels uh, sit on these. So the juice and everything all runs down through the bottom. And I think these are definitely oak. This looks like this looks like fur. Ah, we'll see. Get it apart. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for, uh, I'll be tearing this thing down and getting into it real soon.